Graphite. Welcome to the day two of the Graphite art session. So in today's class, we'll be learning how to shape these 3D shapes and we'll also know how light and shadow work. Now, before we start, let's first understand what is the use of learning how to shape this five 3D shapes and how this can help you. For example, if you take any object, you will always see that those objects or anything is formed by combining two or three forms together. For example, if I take a water bottle, a simple water bottle, you will see that there are some forms hidden in it. Let's break it down. If you see there's a sphere on the top and also at the bottom, then you see a cylinder in the middle and also this is the cylinder. So just like this, every shape and everything you draw, it has some or the other forms in it, okay? So once you learn how to shape this five forms, you can easily shade any object given to you. So let's start. You need to quickly draw this five shape forms. That is a sphere, sphere, the cone, the cube, the pyramid, and the cylinder. Once you are done, as we are discussing light and shadow, it's important to know the source of light. Once you are done with the drawing, decide a source of light. Let's consider the source of light is here. The light is coming from this way. Okay. So one by one, we'll see how you need to shade each form. Okay. And how the shadow will form and also the stroke of the your pencil matters. Okay. For each of the shape you cannot use the same stroke the stroke needs to be the different for example let's start with this sphere so when you see a sphere and also you see the source of light coming you can see the light is falling this side right so this area needs to be the lightest so what we'll do is we'll go dark to light which we have already learned in the class how to give the stone from the dark to light Slowly, you just need to decrease down the pressure you're applying on the paper. So, see how I'm doing the strokes. The very easy way to know the strokes are always see the outlining. If this is curved, your, all the strokes will go curved. Okay, so let's start. Start doing the darker tone. And as I said, it will go all curved. Just make sure this area has to be the lightest because the light is falling this side. And we'll do that. We'll complete this with the dark tone. I'm done with the dark tone and slowly I'll move to the medium tone. What you need to do with, for the medium tone? Either you can use the grade of the pencil which is lighter than the one which you are using for the dark shade. Or you can also decrease down the pressure you are applying. You can use the same pencil as I am doing. Just make sure you decrease the pressure you are applying on the paper. And again, make it all curve. Once you are done with the medium tone, you can move to the light tone. So I am done with the medium tone. You can see the two different tones here. Just mix it dark and the medium tone and then we'll move to the light tone again go curve and very slowly okay just give a curve thing very slow okay so i'll just darken the mid tone a bit so that we can enhance the lighter tone and we are done now what you need to do is take your earbuds paper stamps cotton or cloth anything you want and just smudge it okay again when you mix it make sure you're following the same stroke which you use with your pencil so it will go all curve okay 
okay you can see once you use your blending sum or anything to blend it will give you a very smooth effect now if you see your light tone is not light enough you can take your eraser erase a bit and then you can see a light tone there so now you know for the bottle this part which shade to apply and which stroke to do now we'll move to the shadow part always remember where this light falls the shadow will fall in the opposite direction so if the light the source of light is coming from here the shadow will be formed this way so for the shadow the shape of the shadow how to decide the shape of the shadow you just need to convert the 3d shape into a 2d one and give a shape of the shadow similar to it for example i'm giving this shape of the shadow in a little oval shape like this and i'm done with the shadow now we'll move to this cone again if you see the ray of light falling this is falling this way so this area has to be the lightest now again just do one partition in between and each line starting from here will meet this point okay this point no line will go like this all the lines should go and meet this part okay so we'll start with the darker side this side because the light is falling here so it will be dark medium and light we are done with the dark stroke you can see all my lines are going and meeting here you need to keep that in mind done with the medium as well and now we'll do the light one again take your blending stump earbuds cotton anything you have and just blend it again use the same stroke which we used for the pencil and you are done as discussed the shadow will be forming in the opposite direction that is this side again if you convert this to 3d cone into a 2d thing this will give you a little triangular shadow we are done with this as well now if you see the cube the light is falling directly on the top of the cube so this needs to be the lightest but now which stroke to do here you have got two options either the diagonal or the horizontal make sure whatever you choose to stick to it for example if i am doing horizontal all my strokes will go horizontally here and the light is falling directly on the top so this has to be the lightest and the other two sides will be dark again here i am picking the diagonal stroke so i'll stick to that only and i am done and the same thing i will do it here for this side again i am picking the horizontal stroke so i'll stick to that if i'm choosing vertical stick to that particular stroke only to finish the corner you can use the vertical stroke but make sure you blend it properly once you are done again repeat the same process blend it properly remember the strokes we you use and blend it in the same way now the shadow will fall here because the light is coming from this side so the shadow is going to fall here i'm using a kind of a square shape for the shadow because when you convert this 3d cube into a 2d thing this will give you a square so i'll make the shadow go like i'm done with this as well now let's move to the pyramid again we'll bring the ray of light closer this is the lightest part and this is the dark part so again i'll do the dark shade this side again start it from the bottom bring it to this point and a light 
trace this guy. As discussed, the shadow will go the hell. The shadow will be forming hell in the triangular shape. Now we'll move to the last one that is the cylinder. Again, if you see the top, the light is directly falling on the top. So this has to be the lightest. And also some lights are falling in this corner. So we'll start with the dark corner, this side. And slowly, we'll move to the medium tone. And then finally to the lighter shade. And for this top part, it will be light, completely light. Now, take your earbuds and shade it properly. Okay. So, you are done with the cylinder as well. Now, the shadow will be forming here. Because the light is coming from this side, so the shadow will fall there. So you are done with all these five shades, the forms, and now you know how to shade a bottle. It's not just about bottle, you can shade anything. Once you know how to shade the basic form, you can shade anything. For the, the spare, you can use this circular shade, which we have learned right now. The same thing goes for this side. And then for the cylinder, make sure you first decide the source of light where the light is coming from. Once you decide the source of light, you know what to do. Just take it into the form and use the technique of that particular form. And you are good to go.